Next question we'll take from sisters to brother Imran. Brother Imran. Your name uh, and profession, please. This is Sireen. I'm an HR manager. Um, you had said that there are 50,000 errors in the Bible, quoted in the Awake magazine by the Jehovah Witnesses. Unfortunately, the Jehovah Witnesses are a cult and they do not believe in the word of God. So you've quoted a wrong information. Thank you. What's the question? The question is that you have not looked at the right word. The word, the word which is the Bible, the Jehovah Witnesses are not a part of Christianity. So the question is, are they a part of Christianity? Do you know that? Sister has asked the question that Jehovah's Witnesses are not a part of Christianity. Sister, this is what you said. I, I never heard from any scholar about it. But I agree with you for the sake of argument. I agree. They are not a part of Christianity according to you. For the sake of argument, I agree with it. Still, the 50,000 errors they have quoted, whether it is quoted by Jehovah's Witness or some other Swamiji, if the error is from the scripture, it is wrong. It is nothing to do whether they are Christian or non-Christian. Error is from there. And, and at the same time, sister, in the entire talk, when he quoted Gospel of John chapter number 16, verse number 7, he said, when Jesus says, I will go to the Father and send him, it means that comforter of truth should come after Jesus Christ is gone. Ask them, who is that comforter of truth? So they say, it's the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit was already there before Jesus. It was there at the time of Jesus. It has to be someone who will come afterwards. If you read Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12, 13 and 14, you will find Jesus is directly prophesying about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa He says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. How be it when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself. For whatsoever he shall speak, he shall hear, that shall he speak. Five times the word he has come. Then it says, he will show you the things to come. He will glorify me and at the same time, he will in my name give you the things. Who is that he eight times? Is the spirit a masculine gender? It has to be Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa because the only person who came after Jesus and confirmed that Jesus is an article of faith to be believed in, it is only Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And imagine, and imagine, God incarnate has unfulfilled mission. God says, I want to do many things, but I can't fulfill it. Why did he come then? He came in a wrong time. And then he says, after me, another will come to guide you into all truth. 2008 years have passed. Where is it? Jesus says, you gave me a standard. You shall not believe in every spirit. Absolutely true. I'll put your Bible to the criteria. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 7, verse number 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Jesus says, many false prophets will come in sheep's clothing. But inwardly, they are ravening wolves. By their fruits, you shall know them. The world knows today least suffering people from AIDS, Muslim community. By their fruits, you shall know them. The Prophet said, don't commit fornication. Least fornicators. Then Jesus says, do grapes, does man grow grapes upon thorns? Do grapes grow upon thorns and fig on the thistle? No, it doesn't happen like that. Jesus says, by their fruits, you should know them. The least alcoholic community on the face of the earth, we Muslims. <laughs> Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, once he said, no alcohol, thrown out of the streets of Medina forever. Never to be filled back again. By their fruits, you shall know them. See, sir, who are the best? You are saying, John, Matthew 10, 34, I quoted out of context. You are quoting out of context. Jesus is clearly saying, I have not come to spread peace on earth. He is not referring about some other covenant, about the circumcision part. I don't know which foreskin do we have in our heart. He says in the heart we should be circumcised. I don't know what circumcision. And I told you now, he said you should not give an explanation about the circumcision. It was his own explanation. Did the Bible say circumcision means that? Did the Bible say circumcision means that? And if the Bible said, if the Bible said, 
what is the authenticity that whoever wrote is was directly inspired by god so many mixtures in the bible where does it say that circumcision is a sign even if it is a sign was jesus not circumcised you will be the first christian to say jesus was not circumcised it was metaphorical see you are trying to misinterpret the people in a short time you are trying to misinterpret everybody see on the website you will go tomorrow see i spoke this i spoke this you have one side information and have another debate don't do that be honest inshallah we will bring out all the video tips so that people honestly see what you have spoken and what we have spoken and from the bible he gave me this 21 questions inshallah if i get more time i'll answer them three already answered one he did not attempt <laughs>